to some great innovations from some very smart Aussies. The first will change the way we travel. Being able to depart or leave Australia, knowing in 15 minutes whether we're carrying the virus. It's an invention and a business plan now being pitched to all Australian governments. The company is Idemia and their MD is Xavier Asud. Uh, Xavier, thank you so much for your time. Hi, Chris. Thanks Good. for having me. God, don't be silly. This is fantastic. This is a bit of an Anzac kind of tag team project, I hear. It is, exactly. It's a partnership with, between a, a New Zealand uh, deep tech company called Orbis Diagnostics and, uh, and Idemia Australasia, where we have our innovation lab uh, here in Australia and um, centred in Canberra. OK, why can you get a test and a result in 15 minutes when I went and got a COVID test and had to wait 24 hours? Uh, look, that's the whole point of, of uh, that, that innovation is uh, having a, a test facility that is at the point of need um, so it can be deployed in airports uh, or in quarantine facilities, uh, any kind of a high-volume environment, um, and you get the, the results within 15 minutes. It, it does... Uh, it is a bit different from um, infection uh, testing, um, like a, an RT-PCR test, the one you're referring to, uh, in the sense that we're not actually looking for the virus. We're actually looking for um, antibodies, neutralising antibodies against the virus. And what that means is we can determine... Um, whether you have what's called sterilising immunity. And if you do, you, we know that you can't be carrying the virus and so you're very low risk to the community. And, and that is a huge advantage at the border because it means you can be released into the community without quarant quarantine. So sorry. if a country on the other side of the world said, Chris, you can go there, but you've got to have one of these tests, you could have this facility at the airport, I get there, say, a half an hour earlier, you do a prick test on my finger, like, say, I walk into a pharmacy and get a glucose test. Is that the way it works? Exactly the way it works, uh, yes. Uh, and actually, we it could be uh, pre-departures as well as uh, on arrivals. So we actually expect it to start on arrivals because obviously, you know, Australia will be uh, controlling the arrivals process uh, more uh, easily than controlling the departures process sure. for passengers coming to Australia. OK, what other uses could it be for, apart from setting up at airports? Look, uh, our focus is, is really on borders at the moment, uh, mostly because um, that, that's uh, a, a whole industry that's uh, pretty desperate behind it and, and uh, allowing immune people um, the, the ability to travel quarantine-free um, is, is would be a huge breath of fresh air for, uh, for this industry. Um, but, it, uh, look, the technology can be deployed at any point of need. Uh, um, there's also uh, options to use it, for instance, in clinics, pharmacies, etc. Oh, fantastic. All right, what's the reaction been from government? Look, uh, pretty good, I have to say. Um, there's, there's a fair bit of momentum. Um, there's a process to follow, though. So we, we, are, we expect to have uh, imminently the start of uh, the final stages of, of validation studies that will support uh, regulatory approvals. So that's one side of, of the process. And the other side is we need to start really collaborating with uh, a number of agencies at state level and federal level. Um, to work on how it integrates into the wider border ecosystem. So, for instance, uh, you might want to uh, be able to keep your test results so that next time you travel, uh, you're able to share that, that information right. and that, that kind of, um, that kind of uh, integration. All so right. uh, You keep us in, con in contact. You keep me connected because I'd love to follow the progress of this. I think it's an outstanding innovation. 